heartbreaking case of a Terrebonne teen that deputies say was tortured at the hands of her mother and her mother's boyfriend. Tonight, we uncover DCFS documents that show there was an alleged history of abuse, according to those papers. WDS reporter Jonah Gilmore is in Terrebonne Parish with the emotional reaction from the teen's father and stepmother. The family says it's been hard to see the child in a hospital bed burned from the face down, but they're being strong because she's proving she's a fighter. Seeing my child for the first time, like that was like seeing, excuse me, it's like seeing someone dead. The father of a 15 year old deciding not to show his face, but letting his words describe his pain. But I'm angry. I feel like I let my child go. Like I wasn't there to protect them. According to the Terrebonne Parish Sheriff's Office, the 15-year-old was raped, intentionally set on fire, and shot. The sheriff calls the incident to torture at the hands of the child's mother, Latanya Harris, and the mother's boyfriend, Terrence Washington. You know, you see things and you hear things like that on TV, but when it's your child, it's... It's not a feeling you could explain. It's not. According to Louisiana's Department of Children and Family Services, the 15-year-old has severe burns to her body dating back to October of 2023. They say most recently she also sustained gunshot wounds to her chest, cheek, and face, leaving her without an eye. If you were to see what she looked like and what she'd been through and how she went there, the child's stepmother, Latricia Johnson, says she is a fighter, showing signs of improvement each day. Considering all she's been through, I don't even see how she's not mad at the world. According to DCFS, there were reports of abuse involving the child's mother in 2013 and 2014. A report from the agency says the child was placed in foster care for a short period of time. The family received in-home services once the child returned to the home. The father says another incident happened in 2017. The teen was stranded on the side of the road and that's when he became the custodial parent. He says in 2022, the child wanted to rekindle a relationship with the mother, and he allowed her to go, something he says he now regrets. I regret. That's why I feel like it's my fault, because I allow her to go back to try to establish a relationship back with her mom. And I'm sorry that I feel this way, but I should have been that type of no, you don't need to be wrong. As the family still tries to understand the why. We never thought that a child going with their mother would be a bad thing. And in this case, a horrible thing. They're keeping the teen in high spirits as she works toward recovery. She was like, Dad, I feel free. I'm finally free. And I know where that comes from. She's finally able to get away from that and tell her story. The family tells me the 15-year-old will be undergoing surgery soon. They tell me a lot of the surgeries will have to be cosmetic and insurance doesn't cover it, so they will have to come out of pocket. Reporting in Napoleonville, Jolyn Gilmore, Gilmore, WDSU News. Well, the mother is charged with attempted first-degree murder, second-degree cruelty to a juvenile, and domestic abuse battery child endangerment. The mother's boyfriend also faces a list of charges. The two are set to appear in court next month.